Our objective is to maximise student engagement in online learning. That's challenging because without the discipline and routine that scheduled face-to-face -face classes provide, students new to university life tend to be far less focused than their final year counterparts and benefit much more from a structured learning environment. We've created an active learning online curriculum that measures and rewards student participation to maintain and to feed forward their engagement. Each topic is introduced with a one-hour lecture. Students have the choice between either live stream or watching a video recording. During the live stream, to create an active learning environment, all students answer online polling questions delivered by the lecturer to reinforce, broaden and critically apply what is being taught. In doing so, students earn a small participation mark to validate their learning. Rather than passively watch a lecture recording, students interact with the lecture video by completing the online polling questions that are now embedded as quiz questions. These embedded questions pause the video requiring complete correction to allow students to progress through the recording. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm looking after the communication and consultation with the 40 flex students. Right after the government issuing this travel restriction, we understand some of our overseas students could be heavily affected. The communication between staff and the students are very, very important. How to conduct the communication more effectively and efficiently is our key task. We did some market research on those very popular online communication platforms. For example, we tried QQ, we tried Weixin, we tried Messages, we tried Zoom as well with our friends in China. We understand that our Chinese students will have troubles to access their Monash email account from China because of the restrictions from the government on Google softwares. That is why we prepared these detailed instructions on how to download and install this VPN software provided by Monash University. With this software, our overseas students can have a better access on their Moodle site and the Monash email account. We scheduled our Zoom consultation time very carefully for the fully flex students because we know there's a time difference between China and Australia. The consultation time showed on Moodle page is including Beijing time as well. We are trying our best to help our overseas students during this difficult time. To encourage engagement with students and to give them a voice in class, online polling is used again extensively in the Zoom workshop. We have two staff members who tag team between delivering the material and answering students' questions privately. Every step of topic learning is rewarded with participation marks. These are fed back to the students on a weekly basis. This creates an active, highly engaged ecosystem of choice that supports and builds momentum for successful online learning. Hello, my name is Aunt Tran. I'm one of the unit coordinators for Foundations of Finance and I'd like to share with you today my experience with the managing of the team uh, assessment in our unit. Our student form team voluntarily with other members of the same cohort through an online Moodle forum. They then work together in the same teams in two separate pieces of assessment. One major improvement that we've made this semester was on the peer review process. Using the peer review process, we wish to incentivize student responsible and professional behavior in teamwork. With almost 700 students that we have in the unit, the processing of the individual peer review data was initially a challenge that we faced. However, instead of utilizing a third-party resource to process the data, we've decided that we operate within our capacity by using Moodle Quiz to collect peer review data from student. The data is then internally processed by our staff members and um, the system provides a smart for every one of our 700 students. That way, we maintain the control over the data that we collect, as well as getting the task done without incurring additional cost for the university. A recent survey conducted in our unit showed that students see value in the system that we created. 
90% of our students strongly agree that the peer review process encourages team members to participate in teamwork and discourages free riding. 80% of our students wish for the peer review process to be retained as an assessment component. It is great to see that the effort that we put into implementing the peer review process has enhanced our student experience in completing the team assessments in our unit.